Hey guys, Adam Savage here in my cave with a uh, Christmas show and tell, a uh, Christmas season show and tell. Since 2017, I have had a bag company called Savage Industries, and we have worked with uh, Mafia Bags here in San Francisco to make a set of products using recycled sailcloth. We have sold thousands of these bags in multiple iterations over the years, and I could not be more of a proud papa. In fact, I have even seen a few of them out in the wild, and I've heard from rock stars that like being at an intersection and seeing someone else rocking out to your song is like the greatest thing that could happen to you. And the, I've, I've had just the tiniest piece of that seeing a couple of my bags out in the wild, moving through an airport, moving through a, a city. Uh, and obviously I'm talking to you today because we have a couple of new products coming out this Christmas. And the impetus for starting my bag company was that I hate looking inside black tool bags for things because inside a black tool bag, it's all black and you lose things because you can't see there. It makes me crazy. So I released my first product was the EDC one, which was a white sailcloth bag made out of Dyneema recycled sailcloth. Uh, and it was white so that you could find your stuff in it. And I have, like I said, I've made thousands of these bags. I have dozens that I use for all sorts of things. Uh, but I understand that black bags are also cool. And I have released some black bags in the past. Uh, this is without a doubt my new favorite black bag. Uh, first of all, the fabric, the, the sailcloth that it's made of is, uh, just has a really great, almost leathery texture. It's also got a kind of a twill to it. I just find it is a really, I, I really dig this cloth. It Leathery is the best version I could give. It is not super, it's not totally uncrinkly, uh, but then that is a, a feature of sailcloth bags. They're a little bit crinkly, but you say you hate looking at the bottom of black bags. That is why. I have lined the inside of this one in a cream colored sailcloth. And I, I just, I really dig this bag. Um, the dimensionality of this fabric means that it actually adds a little even extra spring to the normal tension that holds this bag open. It still has all the features that you love of my bags, the magnets in the handles, uh, the removable strap, the internal pocket that houses whatever size field notes you want, and five pen holders, three for pencils, two for Sharpies, or again, whatever you feel like storing in there. Um, manufacturing something is not easy, uh, and it is often not fun, but it is so deeply satisfying. Uh, and. I, I feel like these are among the most beautiful bags. I mean, I still have such a penchant for the first white EDC one, and we still make a ton of those. But I do like to come up with new stuff every year, and this is, I think, without a doubt, one of my favorite bag products we've released in a while. Um, and it's not the only product we're releasing this Christmas. All right, uh, we'll put that down there. Oh. So uh, I've worked on about a dozen feature films over the course of my career as a model maker. And one of them was Space Cowboys, Clint Eastwood's movie about four old astronauts going up to disable some antique bit of Soviet hardware. It is a, I'm not gonna say it's an amazing movie, but it is a terrific movie. Uh, and the, I worked with a team at ILM who for several months made it's ridiculously accurate model of the space shuttle uh, and of a Russian satellite. It was a super fun job to work on. And as a crew gift at the end of that show, uh, the crew gift was a bedroll, which is like a perfect crew gift to get when Clint Eastwood is your director. And I had that bedroll in the trunk of my car for 20 plus years. And it was a stunning piece of equipment. And it got stolen out of my car when my car got robbed at the very beginning of COVID. And then I was thinking, I would love to release our own bedroll, our own version of the bedroll, and that is what this puppy is. This is the Savage Industries bedroll, and I could not be happier with this. First of all, uh, it is, it's 
easily packable for travel. It's got its own little handle and Fidlock buckles. These were not cheap, but I love them so much. You cannot undo these buckles except for pulling on the red tab, in which case they undo entirely. And on the inside, so this is the waterproof side. That is all sailcloth that is recycled, upcycled after spending 10 years on the ocean. And on the inside is some beautiful washed wool. Now, I will admit to you that when I went out and looked at the retail prices for bedrolls, I was a little surprised and I thought I could totally do better than that. And then I learned a whole bunch about combining uh, synthetic materials and wool and how you have to wash the wool first, which we do because it shrinks a significant amount. And if you don't wash it, you're gonna release products that are just gonna be an abysmal affront to humanity. Parts of them will shrink and other parts won't. There is no inexpensive way out of this. This is the long way of saying that the retail price on these is as low as I could possibly get it and still make just a little bit on each blanket. Um, that being said, a huge amount of work goes into making these. Uh, they've got a grommet in each corner. Uh, like I said, I had one of these in my trunk for 20 years. I'm gonna have this one in my trunk for the next 20 years. Uh, one more story about my supplier for this wool. I reached out to him at this point now, more than a year and a half ago to ask to buy a bunch of wool because I was hoping to release these bedrolls last year. And he actually called me up directly and said, I can sell you the wool that you want, but you don't want this wool. If you are going to release a bedroll, you're gonna wanna pre-wash it, you're gonna wanna be of this quality, you're gonna wanna be of this content, et cetera, et cetera. And he gave me this wonderful like hour long education in wool and why I needed what I needed. Uh, and it wasn't to his direct benefit. I did not buy hundreds and hundreds of yards of wool from him that year, but I did later. And I just, I really appreciate that kind of education that I have gotten in putting together a product like this. Uh, and as a picnic blanket, as an impromptu bedroll, as a blanket to keep you warm in an emergency. Uh, and let me just, I'll pack it up here for you. Uh, it folds twice the long way and then rolls up. Buckle around. One and. Ladies and gentlemen, the Savage Industries bedroll with the cream colored herringbone webbing, the Fidlock buckles, the Dyneema waterproof outside and the washed wool inside. Um, we are releasing these on Black Friday uh, very shortly and I really hope it becomes a useful addition to your travel kit. Thank you guys for joining me for this show and tell. Oh, oh, one more feature that I really love that was not intentional. One fits perfectly inside of the other. I don't know why that really satisfies me. All right. Happy holidays, guys. See you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.